I'm gonna go for yellow. Let's do yellow. Something bright, watch. Watch how it changes. What's up guys, it's Supercar Blondie here at CES in Las Vegas and behind me is one of the coolest cars you will ever see. The world's first fully color changing car. Now I have a little app here. We love our technology. Look at this, ah, I get to play with buttons. You know how much I love that, right? Look, this is the BMW iVision D. As you can see here, it's written here. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about what this means in a second, but you gotta see the coolest stuff right away. Come with me. Look at this. Look, it's already starting up. The sides here, look how it's lighting up. And look, never seen this on a car before. My very own avatar. Look on the window, it says SCB, welcome SCB. And if you walk, around look at this look how freaky this is it actually follows you <laughs> what so this car the bmw i vision d this actually stands for digital emotional experience and this is about bmw embracing the future where humans and machines connect on an emotional level right so if you come around here they've also done something quite cool check this out so with the same e-ink technology you can actually have an angry face on the front, mm -hmm. right? You've got the brows going down and then it can even wink at you like that. I mean, this is just the start of something really cool, guys. This is, I don't know where we're gonna go with this in future, but with Stella on board, whole BMW team, I'm sure they're gonna come up with some really cool uses for this tech. And then you've got this here. Look, you can actually spin the rims yourself and you, it creates this cool effect, like 3D effect between the back layer and this top layer. And the BMW logo stays upright. Oh, all right, now, gets cooler. We need to move the car around for this experience. Check this out. It's staring at me. All right, let's go inside. It's a cool back, isn't it? I love the look of this. This is how you open the door, ready? So you just go like this, it recognizes your finger, and here's your interior. Now look, it's totally stripped down. You see, like you don't have any buttons here anywhere on the dash, it's just all material. But what it does have is something called Shy Tech. I'm gonna show you this in just a second, but first, look up here. You have a projector here. Now, I've never seen this before in a car. That is actually what was projecting that avatar onto the window. Now, what we're going to see is a full immersive experience. You ready? Let's get in. This is all sustainable material. That's where we're headed with BMW. And as you can see, just nothing. There's just nothing here. It's just completely stripped down. The emphasis is now on the technology instead of all the bells and whistles and buttons and gadgets and everything else. This is what we've got to look forward to. Ludo, pop in the back and check this out. Watch what happens. <laughs> ah, so freaking cool. Right, now we're gonna move this across. Ready? Digital screen appears on your windshield. Now, what I'm gonna do is press the accelerator and watch what happens. Look, here we go, here we go. We're driving around in this virtual world. All right, now it's gonna do a few different things. Let's slide this over again. You see more information expands on the screen. So that's totally up to you how much or how little you want to see. Look, it actually responds to my acceleration like I've just put my foot off the accelerator and it, we've completely stopped and the sound has stopped right so then I can put my foot back on the accelerator off we go it actually responds to the speed I love how this is pulsing as well it's like a heartbeat there's a cyclist now a collision warning what I've actually felt is a vibration in my seat so not only do I see that the cyclist is near me I can feel it move this across look at this look you've got these little butterfly creature things in the real world and also on your screen so it's merging reality and virtual reality together 
and then you go across like this and watch what happens. Now you're in a full virtual world and these projectors here are actually projecting onto the side windows as well. Do you see that? So you were in a full immersive virtual world. How cool is that, you guys? Look at this. Right, it's currently white, as you can see. What I'm gonna do is go into here and look, you can select all of these colors. I'm gonna go for yellow. Let's do yellow. Something bright, watch. Watch how it changes. Still going, still going. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely insane? So now from a fully white car to a fully yellow car, it gets more insane than this though, guys. Watch this. You can get some racing stripes. So what goes with yellow? Let's go with gray. Let's do this, ready? Look at that. Look at that. What? All right, so you guys might remember last year at CES, BMW came out with this e-ink technology. But last year, the car only went from black to white. It was just two colors. Now you have a full spectrum, right? How does it work? So you've got all of these different panels. You see this? So each of these panels can be a different color. Now, how this works is you've got a layer of electrodes here. Then you've got a cell layer that is full of paint. Then you've got another layer that runs electrodes through it, right? Last year in that cell, they had black and white paint. Depending on whether or not you ran negative electrodes on the bottom and positive on the top, white would come to the surface. Or if you switch that around, black would come to the surface. This year, they have four colors within that cell. So there's cyan, magenta, yellow, and white. And with those four colors, you can make 32 different colors on the car. Now you might be wondering what these little stripes are about, right? This is actually for the technology to be able to wrap around the curvature of the car. So you've got them here, especially in places where the car really curves, like over this wheel arch here, you've got a lot of these. But for example, here where it's less curved, you don't really need these joiners here. So how freaking crazy is this? You wanna see some more? Look, rims, oh, rims. We love the rims, right? So we can go into the rims, come around here. Look, now we've got racing stripes on a yellow car. Should we match the rims? I reckon we should match the rims. So we're gonna go with a gray. Let's go down here. Watch how it changes. Now, it actually has to go back through white to be able to get to the color that you've selected. There we go. It's like a kind of a, like a light blue. That is so freaking cool, guys. Now, how does this work, right? How does it actually bring the different color to the surface of the car? Depending on the specific voltage that you run through the cell, that's the color that comes to the surface. So for example, if you run like 12 volts through, it might be a yellow. If you run 32 volts through, it might be a red. So it's taken these guys a lot of time to work out what exact voltage they need to use to be able to produce a specific color. I'm gonna bring Stella in. She's the brains behind this technology. Come on in. Yeah. Hi. Nice to Hi. see Hi. you again. Nice, nice to see you too. Hi. Hi. So you remember her from last year. She creates this whole crazy tech. Yeah. How much more difficult was it yeah. to get 32 colors yeah. versus the black and white last year? Oh, way harder. Way harder. Way harder. Yeah. So how long yeah. have you been working on this for? Not that long, so about eight months. Eight months is quite a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, I gave us, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's a question. Was there a specific color that was more difficult to program? Yeah, there are ones that bit more difficult to make them look good. Yeah, which ones? Green, uh, Green. blue. Actually, that looks pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. This is yeah, a good one. That's a hard one. Is, it's a, is this a hard one? That's color? a hard one to do. Why yeah. is that? How does this work? Oh, because we talked about the color particles having different charges. Yeah. And some of them have larger charges and some of them have smaller charges. Right. And so the ones that have perhaps a smaller charge need a little bit more motivation to be able to Move? A little bit yeah. more motivation. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like me at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Get on that treadmill. <laughs> All right, guys, there's more to see. Come around the back. What I love is you get to select so many different color combinations. So here you get to select the first color. So let's go with, ooh, um, let's go with this one. Okay, wait for it. 
So every other panel turns that color, including the rims. So we wait for that color, there you go. And now we can select the second color. So let's go with, let's go with this one. Okay, let's see, there it goes. And you see what's happening now is the different voltages are, are going through those panels until the specific voltage uh, program has been found and then it comes to the surface. I'm getting, I'm getting nods from Stella over there like, you did it, you did it, you said it right, yes. We've got more shy tech over here. You see this panel, the door panel, it's completely clear, right? There's nothing on it except when you put your hand up close, this appears. And this is how you move the seat, right, back and forth. And this is how you open the door. I love Shytech. Very cool. You just have no idea it's there until you just put your hands around it and suddenly things light up. BMW, you guys have got it again. We have an exclusive on this channel. They are shutting down the Las Vegas Strip just for us so that we can go and drive this on the streets. This is not just a stationary concept. This drives and we're going to drive it right now. All right, ready? I'm going to take you for a drive down the Vegas Strip. All right, get ready. All right, guys, so it is currently 1 a.m. here in Vegas and we're filming in the dead of night so we can keep this drive on the Strip as secret as possible. This is really like exclusive content. Only a few people have noticed that we're out here and they're all just staring, got their phones out. This car is awesome.